is hair transplant permitted in Islam? In hair transplantation, what is done is that if a person, his hair is not growing in a particular area or he has got bald patches, so what does the doctor do? That he takes a follicle of hair from the part which has got good growth, maybe at the back of his head or side of his head, and he transplants in an area which is a bald patch. Or he takes a skin which contains the hair follicle and he transplants in a bald patch. Now, in Islam, the ruling is that you cannot change the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if a woman has a hair and if she adds more hair to it, a prophet clearly prohibited. It's haram. You cannot change the creation. But in hair transplantation or hair transplant, the scholars, what they say, there is not change in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but it is restoring back the creation of Allah ta'ala. The hair growth was good and for certain reason it stopped. So it is either a restoring of the creation of Allah or treating a disease. There is a patch and the disease can be treated. So this hair transplantation does not come in the category of changing the creation of Allah. If you add another hair to a hair which you already have, that is changing Allah's creation which is prohibited. But hair transplant, according to scholars, is permitted. And when this question was asked to Sheikh Muhammad Salih Uthaymin, Sheikh Muhammad Salih Uthaymin, may Allah have mercy on him, that is hair transplantation allowed? He said, yes, it's permitted because it is not changing the creation of Allah, but it is restoring the creation of Allah or it is, it is uh, curing the disease and it's permitted. And, and he said, because there's a hadith in which angel comes and restores the hair of a bald person. And what he's referring to, there are two hadith in the Sahihain, it's there in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, hadith number 3464, and in Sahih Muslim, volume number 7, hadith number 7431. The story is very long, but in that incident, beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi says that the angel comes and asks a bald man, that what do you want? He says that I want my hair to be restored, and he touches the hair, and the hair is restored. So there is evidence. So based on this, hair transplantation is, is permitted and it is allowed and if a person wants to do there are various different methodologies he can adopt any of the methodologies hope that answers the question